Potential flow has a fundamental role in fluid mechanics as stationary, irrotational solutions of the Euler equations describing incompressible, slightly viscous flow, including hydromechanics and subsonic aerodynamics. A potential flow velocity is given as the gradient of a potential satisfying Laplace's equation with a Neumann boundary condition, modeling the small skin friction of slightly viscous flow. The Euler equations were formulated in 1752, and the same year d'Alembert discovered that potential flow around a bluff body has zero drag in direct contradiction with observation, which d'Alembert formulated as a paradox, discrediting theoretical fluid mechanics from start. Surprisingly, d'Alembert's paradox was not solved until 2008 by realizing that the unphysical character of potential flow is that it is unstable at separation and changes nature from irrotational separation without drag into 3D rotational separation with drag. The result is that complex real flow can be described as potential flow modified by 3D rotational separation, which makes it possible to understand complex real flow by understanding potential flow and 3D rotational separation. An important property of potential flow is that flow separation from a solid boundary requires stagnation to zero flow velocity because the solid boundary is a streamline. In particular, potential flow, and thus real flow, does not separate on the crest of a wing, for example, and thus generates lift by suction as shown in this picture from a wind tunnel experiment. On the other hand, Prandtl's boundary layer theory predicts separation on the crest, which does not generate lift and thus does not help to explain why it is possible to fly. To sum up, real flow can be seen as potential flow modified by 3D rotational separation, which makes it possible to understand real flow including the generation of large lift at small drag of a wing.